Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and I'm in this screencast. I'm going to show you how to get started with Ant Word Profiler 1.2. So here's the uh, interface uh, after you launch the program. On the left, as is where the user files are shown. Uh, these are the files that you want to analyze. Uh, so I'll just choose uh, the README file for the program, uh, and uh, I'll show you that in a moment. At the bottom are the level lists that you're going to use to compare against the target uh, files. Uh, these are Paul Nation's basewood lists. Uh, you can see those here. Uh, you don't have to use Paul Nation's lists. You can use your own, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, and on the right, these are the uh, output settings. So you can show word types or word groups, as uh, Paul Nation calls them, word families, and some statistics, and so on. And the results will appear here. So as we've already loaded a file now, we can just hit start and um, you can see the results are displayed here. Um, the types, the tokens, uh, and so on. Now if you want to save these results, you just go to File and uh, you can save the results in the format that Paul Nation uses in the range program or you can save them in a more convenient tab space format which will then import directly into Excel and look nice there. Yeah. Now an additional feature that uh, Range doesn't have is to be able to view the uh, target file directly which you can see here and um, with, for each file you can uh, do a similar analysis looking at the words which are in uh, the level lists or those that are not in the level lists yeah. and you can see the statistics on the right so, for example, here we can see the level 1, the 66.6% .6 of the words are in level 1, 7.2% in level 2, and overall it's an 85.8% .8 coverage, meaning the text is, well, reasonably easy to understand. Uh, there's some shortcuts here as well, so you can uh, make it bigger or smaller, uh, and you can find out about how to do the shortcuts uh, in the README file. All the settings that you can see here uh, uh, can be saved. If you go to again to File and uh, Export Settings, you can just save these under the special AWP uh, settings file. And for and later, if you want, um, you can import the settings and um, go back to how you were before. Let me just import an interesting set of settings here. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, some settings for a Japanese file so the software does work in both English and Japanese so now we can look at a new base word list uh, in Japanese which looks a little bit like this and um, here's the target list looking like this uh, and we can do a similar kind of analysis as we did before and generate some results same way There are a few other features to the program. Uh, if you want to know about those, just go to help and you can look at README, look at the README file, and then it has a lot of information there about how to use the software. Uh, and that's it. Thank you.